I'm gonna do a quick rundown on my gun win numbers and how I determine it. And this has been a really effective way for me to get on target, make good and accurate win calls, but it takes a couple steps, super easy. Let's go over those steps really quick. To determine your gun's win number is pretty darn easy. You need access to a ballistics calculator and you have to have accurate BC and velocity data, bullet weight, and then you're good to go. I usually get mine with a magneto speed. If you don't have one, you can shoot the distance and figure out what your drop is at 600 yards or so. But I recommend using something that's gonna give you a solid number. And for me, the magneto speed works great. The ballistics calculators that I use are in my Kestrels. You could use an app on your phone. You could use a online something or other. Essentially what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your ballistic data and you're gonna start up your Kestrel and let's see what uh, my profiles are here. This should be for a 6.5 Creedmoor and uh, let's see what the gun is, Creedmoor. Okay, great. You're gonna take your wind Right, I'm gonna keep it at nine o'clock. I'm gonna go to, let's say, 600 yards. Well, let's say 500 for now, and then we'll go to six, okay? Now I'm gonna go back, and uh, at 500 yards, my wind is 0.4, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna increase the speed, six miles an hour, 0.49. That's pretty fucking close to 0.5, right? 500 yards, 0.5. I'm gonna go to 600 yards and it should be pretty freaking close to 0.6. 0.6, right, 0.61. I'm gonna go to 700 yards. Point seven four. Okay, I'm gonna go down to 400 yards. Point three seven, pretty fucking close to point four, right? No, no, not even Morgan King can hold point zero three wind, right? So. Now that you know that this gun is a six mile an hour gun, if you take multiples of six, if it's a 12 mile an hour wind, you double it, right? If you know your target range, you could say 400 yards. If it's a six mile an hour wind from nine o'clock, I'm gonna hold 0.4. If it's a six mile an hour from three o'clock, I'm gonna hold 0.4. If it's a 12 mile an hour, I'm gonna double it, right? So at 400 yards, I'm gonna hold 0.8. If it's coming at, um, 7.30, that's going to be 75% of that. And I bet it's going to be close to 0.3. Let's put in uh, 7.30. Better be pretty fucking close to 0.3. Pretty fucking close to 0.3. So you don't need your Kestrel anymore for a wind call. You know this is a six mile an hour gun. I'm shooting 700 yards. It's six mile an hour wind. I'm going to hold 0.7. If it's uh, 12 mile an hour, I'm going to hold 1.4. So let's go to 700 yards. make my win 12 and I'm gonna hold uh, 1.4 this is 1.33 that's pretty pretty darn close right that's set that's seven hundredths of a mil um, and most of our things are in either quarters or 0.2 right 0 0.25 0 0.2 for the night force uh, 0 0.25 for the loophole so uh, just as a guess, you say, okay, it's it's 12 mile an hour wind and I'm shooting at 700 yards and it's coming from nine o'clock. My, my call, because I know it's a six mile an hour gun, is gonna be 1.4. This says 1.33. Uh, let's see what, uh, I don't know if I have a Creedmoor. I don't have a Creedmoor in this one. Different calculators uh, do the wind a little bit different, but that's the idea, right? 
It's All right, so let's hash out that gun number just a little bit more. Shooting 600 yards, the wind is six miles an hour from three or nine o'clock, I'm gonna hold 0. 0.6. What if the wind is nine miles an hour and we're shooting at 600 yards? Now you're gonna hold, right, one and a half times. So 600 yards, instead of holding 0. 0.6, we're gonna hold 0. 0.9. If it's 12 miles an hour, we're gonna hold 1.2, right? Whatever the wind number is, then you're gonna use the multiplier of the wind rows, which is also pretty easy if you're gonna use like Emil Praslik's method of, right, zero, 25, 50, 75, 90, 95, 100. What I've noticed with the wind numbers is that that 25, 50, 75, zone is the one that really matters a lot because you're having huge changes in your wind call when it's coming more towards you than it is from the side that 90 95 100 that tends to be much more stable and so the wind speed matters that angle probably matters less but when it starts swinging towards you right in that 45 degrees to headwind you have huge changes based on the angle more than the gun number so you want to pay a lot of attention to the angle uh, and, you know, in addition to the wind speed and your gun number, but that angle is probably going to have a more profound effect on your wind call. Paying attention to those two things, considering your gun wind number is going to get you on target.